Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore Israel's iron beam laser system and what it can and cannot take down on the battlefield. And from rockets and artillery to different kinds of drones, we break down which threats this new defense technology can handle and where its limits begin. And as debates grow around its true battlefield role, a closer look shows how this laser system is reshaping Israel's defense thinking. Israel's Iron Beam is emerging as the world's first operational high-energy laser air defense system. It has been designed to neutralize fast-evolving aerial threats at a fraction of the cost of the traditional interceptors. Israel is set to deploy the system by the end of the year following its operational testing in September. According to Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, Iron Beam is a 100 kilowatt class high-energy laser weapon system, HELWS, which is capable of engaging targets at the speed of light, from a few hundred meters to several kilometers. The company also notes that the laser weapon system delivers an unlimited magazine at almost zero cost per interception and minimal collateral damage. These features distinguish it from kinetic missile interceptors. The technology was developed by the Israeli defense contractor Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, along with Elbit Systems manufacturing the laser source. Iron Beam is designed as a short-range, high-energy laser effector, offering a new layer within Israel's defensive architecture. The system is intended primarily to tackle low-altitude and short-distance aerial dangers. Its purpose is not to replace missile-based systems, but to absorb the bulk of close-range attacks that frequently target Israel. Raphael confirms that Iron Beam can neutralize rockets, artillery shells, and mortars, collectively known as RAM threats, which are among the most common projectiles launched toward Israeli cities and border communities. Because these weapons follow predictable trajectories and fall within the system's engagement envelope, Iron Beam can burn through them rapidly with pinpoint accuracy. Over the years, Israel has frequently faced Qasem rockets of various models, 122mm Grad or Katyusha rockets, and 120mm and 81mm mortar rounds. All of these projectiles follow a predictable ballistic path, placing them squarely within Iron Beam's short-range interception zone. Iron Beam is also built to intercept UAVs of various sizes, including small quadcopters and larger tactical drones. Some examples include FPV kamikaze drones and Shahid-style loitering munitions. Raphael notes that its rapid retargeting capability enables engagement of drone swarms, which are increasingly used in modern conflict. This feature gives the system a distinct advantage in scenarios involving multiple simultaneous aerial intrusions. Raphael further states that the system can tackle short-range ballistic threats, including small-caliber mortars as well as low-altitude light projectiles. These fall well within the system's range and power capacity. The laser focuses on a single point on the target, enabling neutralization within seconds. Raphael lists cruise missiles among the threats Iron Beam can handle, but this interception is only limited to handling missiles that travel short distances. Its engagement range limits its effectiveness to low-flying, slow-to-medium-speed cruise missiles approaching within several kilometers. It is not intended for long-range interception. Because Iron Beam's maximum range is around 10 kilometers, it cannot intercept medium or long-range ballistic missiles, including the types targeted by Israel's Arrow system. While highly effective against short-range rockets, artillery fire and UAVs, Iron Beam is not intended for long-range ballistic missile interception. It also cannot engage high-altitude, high-speed missiles, nor threats traveling beyond its line of sight or atmospheric conditions that hinder laser propagation. Its role is to relieve pressure on missile-based systems, reduce costs, and handle high-volume short-range attacks, becoming a crucial new layer in Israel's evolving defense architecture. As the Jerusalem Post notes, 
Iron Beam neutralizes threats far faster than kinetic interceptors and at a fraction of the cost. However, it is not intended to replace Iron Dome, David's Sling or Arrow, but to complement the Iron Dome and Israel's existing air defense architecture. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.